Hello YouTube, this is Chris with Kerbal Space Program Point Two Two Career Mode with the Interstellar Mod. Great mod. This was uh, made prior to Two Two and included its own science system, which um, is actually worked into the new career mode uh, pretty well. So figured I'd give it a shot. I started a new career mode, so some of this stuff is repetitive, and I'll kind of blow through it, cut out a bunch of stuff. This is all um, post production. So here's uh, the starting tree, and as you can see, I just did the the cheap way out and did a one uh, one mission with just the capsule, got out, did some samples, EVA work, and crew report. Then uh, got the stack separator, and now I'm going to build a rocket that'll actually launch. And you can see at uh, four times speed how quickly it is done. And then we will launch. Um, uh, one thing I do like to do is I like to set up um, action groups for science modules. Then you can just hit the one key and you can run through all the science modules and click whether you send them or save them. So here's the launch. And uh, as I go up, I'll be doing some science. Was not the my favorite rocket, but uh, with the limited parts that you have in the beginning of the career mode, you're not offered too many opportunities to make a engineering marvel of a rocket. So uh, we're just gonna shoot this one up into the uh, atmosphere, do a little atmospheric work and some low orbits in Kerbin's sphere of influence here. Uh, I am using MechJab just for basically accuracy and the sake of speed. I'm doing other things while I'm doing this and thus MechJeb allows me the opportunity to do those things and with some reason of certainty be able to come back to a functioning rocket or capsule or other space mode of transportation. Just uh, going through the orbits here and I will deorbit uh, by using my rocket motor to uh, burn pr retrograde and bring down my node into the atmosphere I will arrow break and do a landing fortunately a lot of this is on the dark side of the planet so you are missing out on some of the great visuals although the edge of the atmosphere there is very nice that is a very nice effect and uh, you see it on Jewel, you can see it on Eve, Lath, and um, a little bit on Duna, not so much as the atmosphere is not that thick. I like how the sun actually shines uh, a light on the planet, a little spot. I don't know if that's really a good effect, but uh, it works. It works for me. I'm not complaining at all. And we have landed this uh, capsule. Get out, do a little sample work, a little EVA. And then I'm going to reclaim the uh, vehicle. You can see I got science there. I know it's going really fast. So uh, here's a another a uh, little bit more uh, sciency, I guess, if you will, a rocket. This would be my really. It's my second launch, but it might be the third in the series. But uh, it'll be the second one uh, I record. And. Um, this is just a little bit bigger of a rocket. It's got, uh, you know, the boosters there, and I believe those popped off. It's not. I'm doing this in post production here, so it kind of skipped over a little bit. But I, I believe those fell. Those uh, boosters fell off, and right now we are just at the edge of the atmosphere. We're gonna coast up to the apoapsis, round out our orbit, and do some more sciency stuff. And uh, we'll be landing this back down on the surface of Kerbin. Probably going to be, yep, it's a wet landing. Uh, and actually this craft broke up a little bit when it hit the ground, but I was able to claim uh, everything, even though um, it, all the pieces were out. But as you can see, all the pieces there on the left, I just claimed all them. And as a matter of fact, I had done enough science that those, uh, that science pool was drained so it, it turned out that I was not getting any science for a lot of those but they were there I took the shot there was no danger and I decided to do it anyway anyone get that Top Gun reference great movie favorite 
All right, so moving on, we are going to build a another rocket, uh, as always. This one also has the uh, bo liquid boosters there, as you can see. And this one is going to get us on an, a flyby of the moon. And I will do a little bit of science while flying by. And just to keep adding to the pool of science points so I can work towards getting more science equipment, better rocket parts, motors, engines, tanks, all sorts of good stuff. I'm trying to bust into that uh, science tree that involves the ISM nodes. Talking fusion reactors, uh, electric generators, Alcubierre drives eventually, so we can do some interstellar travel, at least interplanetary travel uh, very quickly. And I have not gotten to use the Alcubierre drive, but from what I've read, it's not too overpowered, which is good and uh, it requires that um, you'll have to use a lot of delta v to get into a, an orbit around your target because of the speeds required so it, it definitely requires that you plan 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 okay and another thing you'll note that i'm using is kerbal alarm clock this is very helpful. Um, what it allows you to do is it, you can set different alarms uh, and they're persistent throughout your your uh, game so if you put up a, an alarm on a, on, a sh on a rocket that's in orbit and say you want to you know do a transfer window to Duna and it's 35 days from from current you can set up the alarm on that ship or on that rocket then you can go down and you could launch five more missions and once it gets to that 35 day launch window it'll come up and you'll be able to it'll pop up and you'll be able to to switch to that vessel and you know take over from there and then do your transfer and you can also in the meantime set other alarms if you have different missions maybe uh in, in one case i set up one to jewel one to eve one to duna so i had three rockets with all different transfer window alarms and i was able to actually uh, continuously do missions while uh, vessels were traveling to their destinations or were waiting for the transfer window so very very helpful it just makes uh you more efficient as and how you plan your missions I, I advise getting it. It is very helpful. And I'm just finalizing my moon flyby. I'm going to get a free trajectory return to Kerbin. I'll just have to mess with my uh, periapsis a little bit to bring it into the atmosphere. And I will use an aero brake maneuver bring me down into the water and again a parachute landing and then we're going to do a little bit different next time well, let's just look at the tech tree here this is what I have opened up this is what I'm going to open up you can see that I have uh, a good amount of points science points but I have to be conservative and I have to really think about what I want to do next so uh, and some of the choices that I made I kind of decided that I didn't want to make those after but it had already been done no sense in crying over spilt milk. Again, this is a mission, and I, you know, cut through the launch sequence. It's pretty standard, similar. This is a mission going to Minmus, so here is my uh, setting up my encounter. I'll fine tune, and we will make our way towards Minmus. And as you can see, we're coming up on a, a close pass, and this is just going to be a flyby here, doing a bunch of science. And then I will return to Kerbin and get ready to launch another mission. You know, as you can see, I'm just setting up my alarm clock for orbits and, and such. And while I'm doing that, I'll be doing science. As always, science is fun. Science! So we just did a EVA. Going to set back up for a return. 
here we are returning to Kerbin, aero brake maneuver, pretty standard stuff. You know, shock heating, very nice, beautifully rendered. A uh, little, uh, actually, that's uh, breaking the sound barrier right there. That's uh, that's uh, always a fun thing. And uh, drug shoots deployed. And there's the claiming of science. Now back to the tech tree. Clicking on a few more nodes, clearing them up. Uh, getting closer, I think, uh, at this point, either I am or will very soon uh, be able to access some of the interstellar mods uh, tech nodes, which will be very helpful. Now, this is a moon probe landing, and this went smooth up until the very end. Some of my Twitch gaming skills are very lacking, so uh, as I was... Trying to try, trying to land, I um, ended up hitting the wrong keys or doing something stupid. And, uh, it didn't go quite as well as I wanted it to. In the end, the probe was functional. It just was not optimal. And you'll see as I uh, use up the transfer stage in RCS, and then I will detach that. I have a small uh, Rockamax engine and tank here just for the final landing uh, it think it's about a thousand delta v which is plenty um, this motor is actually just it's very uh the thrust to weight is very good on it so it, it, micro managing the the actual uh thrust is a pain in the ass and and i came down hard and there was no recovering from the sideways mess that I made and then I just use a uh, the uh, stack decoupler and it actually threw me across the ground even more a bunch of the solar panels are broken however it is enough to do what I need to do and get those valuable science points I will just spam trans this until uh, all the science points are used up I probably go through a couple day night cycles I tried to use the magnetometers that come with ISM to try to upright myself and it did it didn't work I thought I was gonna do it and then I, I just decided that it's not worth the effort um, I can always just send another probe out and hopefully by that time I will have my head out of my ass and my fine motor skills in check so that is the beginning stages of the ISM career mode. So if you like it, please subscribe, comment, and any suggestions or questions, give me a shout. Thank you.